Crafty Kitty, and this is the 12th DIY for my 31 days of October craftiness, or Halloween craftiness. I can't remember. Anyways, for this one, I am going to be using five silver candlesticks of varying sizes and different um, shapes. Five uh, of these ornament balls that I got from the Dollar Tree. Uh, all of the candlesticks, by the way, come from the thrift store, so... They were fairly cheap as well, except for maybe this one was four dollars. The rest of them were like a dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine at the most. And you'll also need. I'm also going to be using these. Well, I'll show you in a second. They are transparent seeds, and um, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pause you because I have to turn the camera on so you can see. Hey, how's it going? So I'm back and I'm here to finish off this particular um, DIY I'm doing. The problem is we seem to be having issues with certain pieces of the project here. Everybody seems to want to go where they're supposed to go. This, which is a double sided laminate. Double sided laminate. It's a, <laughs> it's a sheet of laminate paper. I have. Oh, they're there. Sorry. Getting in there. Like that. That's. work better than the double sided tape because it has a little bit more Where's the rest of that? oh <laughs> we need both sides first that this guy's between because there's oh. <laughs> come out of there oh. darn it ah this DIY is gonna drive me to drink some Pepsi <laughs> okay here we go you, you can no why aren't you doing it it's funny how you get this thing to work. I'm a oh. holy free holy. I think this thing really is gonna drive me to drink. Okay, so what about there has to be a way. Where there's a will and there's a crafter. There is a way. That's what I say. I say a lot of things, but you never know. Okay, let's try it this way. A little bit more double-sided tape on top of the laminate. So that one is that way. So if we do this and we double-side it up. I do try these before I'm actually going to show them just to see if it will work. And this guy worked. And now all of a sudden... He wants to be a major pain in the butt. Because he's not supposed to do that. He's supposed to sit up straight. Sorry. See? Can't see him if he lies down. So 
now what am I going to do? I'm thinking that how come this one doesn't work and all the others did? Ah! ah I'm stuck on the, the crow, too. Well, what the hey? Pardon me. Okay. So since the skull can sit up by itself because it's big and it touches the, the rims of everything, I'm going to take the self-laminating guy here, put it together, and... Oi. Leave it to me. So maybe if I make this guy bigger, he will stick up properly like he's supposed to. So. Gotta work those bubbles out, I guess. I don't want any bubbles in here. Darn it. Bubbles. Rim around the corners, I guess, and try to make this kind of like a circle. Trying to taper it like I, the skull is tapered, so maybe that'll work. Okay, so let's see what happens. Woohoo! Now, just got to glue it in it. <laughs> Sorry for the number of times I say it. Other... Something not right. I shouldn't be able to move his legs. Where's the back piece? Where's the other piece? <laughs> Did it fall off? <laughs> okay. So his legs still move because I laminated this side. Not this side. Oy, some days. Oh well. Live and learn. <laughs> some days. So. It moves, but. Not much I can do about that. So, there's one. Rah, you already saw the ones from yesterday, so. Sorry for the move in the camera. So let's try laminating the spider. And maybe I'll do it right this time. And I'll actually, you know, laminate. The spider. Goodness gracious. Hmm. Oops. So we 
you got him in there. I thought that screen didn't look like it was going to fit. For her. It wasn't matching up. Some days. Some days crafting should be left to professionals. <laughs> hmm. This way. Now, there's the spider. He's on this. He's on this side. So this time we're gonna actually laminate the bug inside. Uh oh. Goodness gracious. Oh no. Let's try this again. Ugh. Goodness. Well, now he's laminated on there, alright. Gotta get him onto this paper. Hmm. Without any bubbles. One big giant bubble. Of course. <laughs> Ta da, Spider. Better, better, better. That'd be a good time to insert music here. Ta da! All right. Turn it to the side. Come on, fit. I will make you fit. <laughs> there we go. Ta da! There's the spider in the boat. So, can we see this? Yeah, there we go. I got that one. Oh, Ooh, my favorite bug. He's going to just drive me to drink. Please, just stay still. Maybe if I keep my finger in there, he'll stay still. See, he drove me to drink. Now I'm going to have to do what I did to these guys to my crow. Because you can't see him. Of course, he doesn't want to come off. Ugh. Oops. He has glitter paws. Or paws. Claws. Claws. I should have read those instructions first. <laughs> Press firmly. I did. It didn't work. Alrighty. 
We're gonna get this done. No air bubbles slowly. I don't even think you can see what I'm doing. Mm, dang it. I'm trying to set up my cameras or my my phone wasn't working so great last night. It made the video look all jumpy and scattery because of the thing kept moving. Ta da! We'll just round them out a little bit. Round and around. Round and round and round. And round. Okay. Where are you? Stop. Nobody knows. Let's see what happens. Maybe I don't even have to use tape on here. I don't have to use any glue. I shall make you fit. Ta da! I made you fit. Now I can't get you. Uh oh. Now you're upside down. Come on! Yes, that's how you get stuff unstuck inside a plastic ball, is you shake. Because that always works. There. Come here. I think because I made it, it just doesn't want to. Get out of there. Ooh. So it's the fight of the century. Me versus the crow. Who's going to win? The crow. What I wouldn't give for some long fingers right about now. There we go. Let's try this with some glue. Okay, we're gonna do some glue anyways. So this thing will stay put. I have to admit this is not the best DIY I've done. It is, however, the most frustrating one I've done. So turn him around. Get rid of the Well, so much for that. Alright, so it has to go in, so he's in between the seam. Oh! I'll be right back! I'm back! And here I thought the, the beetle was going to give me, cause me to drink. I'm going to have to go and drink my Pepsi again. And there we go. Off the finger. Off the finger over the rim. Woohoo! There we go. Can we see him? Yes, there he is. Yeehaw! He's done. Okay, Mr. Beetle. You and I are going to have some words pretty soon. Just stay put. Why won't you stay? I'm letting you live. <laughs> uh, hmm. More double sided tape. I'll make you stay. Yes, sir. Oops. Darn it. Okay, maybe I don't need that after all. Yeah, I don't need it after all. What to do? Alright, let's see. Hmm. -mm. This guy will stay too. So we're not going to be moving these guys at any time soon. <gasps> that beetle. That's it. You're going to get squashed to keep it up. Good enough. The cat, he's staying in the ball. I ain't taking him out. No way, no how. Alright, so let's try this. So. What's going on? 
What's going on? Hmm. Why are you doing that? There we go. Uh, oh! I had my arm in front of you the entire time. That is not good. You, Mr. Beetle, or Mr. Spider, you're going there. I'll put my skull up here. Now I'm hoping. Come on. You want to stay. I did find my. Wait a minute. So. Now the question becomes. How do I make you stay where you are? Why do you better do this to me? Once again. Nope, he's turned. So I gotta turn him back again. That right? No. Right there. Come on. Oh, you want to stay put? Don't do it. Don't do it. Hmm? Sorry. Why? Why? I don't know what I ever did to these bugs. Bum, bum. Just think, if I didn't, if I had, could record the way I did before, you'd be missing all this fun. <laughs> be like wow oh. alrighty any day now okay gotcha I gotcha I don't gotcha So, I'm going to pause you because you don't need to see me fight with this for 15 minutes. Okay. So, I'm back and, um, I've decided to go with the con candelabra in one of the balls instead of the spider because I, I squashed it because it was driving me crazy. So, I just took my shoe and poof, there it went. Kidding. I didn't kill the bug. He's floating around here somewhere. He went flying out of the ball, and uh, I cannot find him. So, he's just going to stay missing. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to add some glitter uh, ribbon to my skull ball. So that it hides the, the rim of the ball. And I have to figure out how I'm going to attach them. So this could be where my trusty Velcro balls come in, or circles come in again. If I can figure out where I stuck them. You know, par for course in this room. They're here somewhere. I saw them. The question is, where did I see them? And I, I know a lot of people saying, oh, put it somewhere where you'll remember it. Well, that's the thing. I put it somewhere and I don't remember it, <laughs> unfortunately. So, here we go. This just adds a little bit more bling to it. So, and of course, now the candelabra doesn't want to stick. Oh, this DIY is driving me batty. 
so. I think I might just go get the E6000 and get it over with. <laughs> Stay put. Because my glossy accent's not working this time, and I think because it's plastic. But I do know for sure. I do know that this DIY is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. So, this is where I'm at. Putting the glitter strings on. So, there we go. So it's glitter. And there's one there. One, two, three, four. Oh, there it is. I knew I had five. I tried the sticky magnet on here, but now I can't get it off. So. Because I figured I use magnet, it'll stick. Nope. Not metal. Or not the metal that would stick with magnets. So, once again. You're going to have to find the Velcro sticky thingies. Ooh, there's... <laughs> oh. Can you tell I'm getting a little tired? I'm going to pause you and I'm going to find those Velcro sticks. So... Okay, so I found no what? Oh well. Not again. I tell you, I think I'm gonna squash this beetle because <laughs> it's driving me up the wall, and it's time for drive me to drink. Mm -hmm. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I wonder. I wonder. stuck there. There's oh, a smart move for you. So there is the Velcro. Where are we going to stick this? Oops, sorry. Okay. I'm going to pause you. Okay, so I'm back, and I'm probably going to be the only crafter you've ever met who, while she's crafting, cut her toe. Yep, there was a piece of glass on my floor in my room, and I cut my toe. So, I spent 15 minutes trying to find a band-aid and something that stopped my toe from bleeding. Oy, oy, oy. You know it's time to clean your craft room when you move your foot and you cut your toe. Crazy. 
Crazy. Oh. No, you're not going on that one. This one. Oops, sorry. Again with the arm. I did not. I learned how to tape and record from a distance. But we're almost done. on my water or I will find it not from here to kingdom come. Hmm. Where to go? Yeah. That's it. Take water. Sorry. Clean the top part off. I'm thinking I should have used black candlestick holders, but oh well, what are you gonna do? You gotta go with what you got. This is what I got. Alrighty, so I'm pausing you again, and I'm going to show you everything in a row. Okay, so here they are. There's the bug that didn't get squashed. My cat, the skull, the raven, and the candelabra because the spider did get squashed. So, again, I found this on Pinterest. I'm not sure from where. I just saw the picture and thought I could recreate it from that. So, this is my 12th DIY for the 31 days of October or Halloween craftiness. So, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want, haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And let's all get crafty. Bye.